In this short video, you will learn how to properly fill the sample chamber of the List Portable XR. You will also learn how to correctly add a dry sample to the chamber. To begin, you will need approximately 200 milliliters of particle-free water. This water should be near the temperature of the instrument and should have been allowed to degas for at least several hours. Start by removing the top cover of the sample chamber. It's easiest to twist the cover first, then lift the cover off by one of the corners. Before adding your sample, make sure the drain is in the closed position. Next, add the clean water by pouring the water down the side of the sample chamber. Do not pour the water into the center of the chamber as it will cause bubbles to form inside the sample chamber. Continue filling until the water level reaches the recessed portion of the sample chamber. Now replace the top cover of the sample chamber, then install the holder for the ultrasonic probe. Continue to fill the sample chamber by pouring down the side of the probe holder. Fill the chamber until it is about a centimeter below the neck of the probe holder. Here you can see approximately where the water level should be. The goal here is to have the sample chamber completely fluid filled when the ultrasonic probe is inserted. It is okay if some water spills from the top of the chamber when the ultrasonic probe is inserted. Therefore overfilling is less of an issue than underfilling. Next, insert the ultrasonic probe into the sample chamber. The water level should rise and completely fill the sample chamber once the probe is seated. No air pocket should be visible at the top of the chamber. When the mixing pump is turned on, the sample chamber should be nearly bubble free. A few small bubbles clinging to the glass at the top of the sample chamber is typically not a problem. Here is an example showing the chamber when it is filled incorrectly. When there is air at the top of the sample chamber, the mixing pump cannot be operated without introducing bubbles to the sample. This will lead to incorrect measurements of the particle size distribution. The same procedure you just saw for filling the chamber with particle-free water should also be used for filling the chamber with a particle-containing water sample. Next, we'll go over how to add a dry sample to the chamber. First, fill the sample chamber as just shown with particle-free water and collect a background. In order to ensure dry particles are mixed properly, they should not be added directly to the sample chamber. Instead, they should be mixed into a small amount of water first. Once the sample is well mixed, remove the ultrasonic probe, drain a small amount of water from the chamber, and then pour in your mix of water and particles. Here, you may wish to rinse your mixing vessel with clean water to ensure all particles are transferred to the mixing chamber. Replace the ultrasonic probe and turn on the mixing pump. This will ensure your dry sample is well dispersed in the sample chamber. Be sure to watch our video on how to collect measurements using the built-in touchscreen. A link is provided in the video comments. Thank you for watching.